Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen, your favorite Sense of Gale, and today I'm going through the new scents for the fall winter catalog. I am so excited. I have my buddy Odin over here. And the two of us are gonna snip for the very first time all 10 cents in the new catalog. All right, so I'm just gonna grab from over here. Odin's probably gonna come back over here and we are just gonna get to this. All right, so we're just going to pick one up. All right, so this is white, amber, and silk. It's a creamy color. This is a fresh scent, which I was kind of surprised. I thought this was gonna be more of a woodsy scent. But we have white, amber, and bergamot are wrapped in a comforting cotton for a smooth finish. Ooh, so I'm excited. We got this like cream color <gasps> up here. Oh, I can smell it. Oh yeah, there's Odin's first sniff. Oh, he's so cute. Ooh, that's different. I definitely get that cottony scent. I kind of like this. Ooh, I don't get the bergamot. Warm amber. Mmm, I kind of like this. This is different. This is like a good maybe going between like Halloween and Thanksgiving or like a definitely like an after Christmas scent. If you know me, I always have to like pick a season or pick a time to like warm these up. Oh, that's nice. I think my husband's gonna like this one. It's very, it's not very, I call this airy. Odin's tail is in the way, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, this is like a very airy scent. Oh, I like this one. You wanna smell this again? No? Okay. I like that one. Ooh, that's different. I love it though. Alright, next one, Odin. Can you come over here so they can see you? Can you come over here? Alright, we have, ooh, Huckleberry Hideaway. <gasps> this is a wood scent. I haven't opened it yet, bud. I haven't opened it. So we have fresh picked Huckleberry, Mountain Violet, and a crisp white woods create the perfect retreat. And this is the beautiful purple, nice and fallish. Odin's yawning. Ooh. You like that? It's so funny. He he like smells this. Ooh, I like that. It's different. Ooh, this is very Christmassy. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I like this one. I definitely get that huckleberry. I'm gonna laugh so hard if he eats this. Mm, you like that one? So we got fresh picked. I need drooled all over this. Fresh. Oh, what is wrong, bud? <laughs> so we have fresh picked huckleberry, mountain violet, and crisp white woods. Definitely get the woodsy scent. Maybe a little bit of violet. Ooh, that smells good. That's different. You want to smell one more time? No? Okay. I like that one. That one's different. Christmassy. That's a Christmassy one. All right, now we have... Perfect day. So this is a fruity scent. And we have amber pear or bleh, autumn pear mixed with spice syrup and spirited splash of bourbon. <gasps> Ooh, so bourbon, spice syrup, pear. This is gonna be good. I like that green color. That's very like September-y, October y. What are you looking at, bud? Ooh. Ooh, that's different. You wanna smell? Oh, he's coming back. Yeah? I don't think you like this one. I kinda like this one. This is different. I'm not a big pear person. I can't get it out of the clean shell. Um, but yeah, I kinda like this one. Let's go. Mmm, this is different. Oh, like. If you love pear, you're gonna like this. This has a nice kind of spice to it, but like a sweetness from the syrup. Ooh, that smells good. Mmm, that's a good kitchen scent, I think. Ooh, it smells so good. All right, next one. We got black currants and plum. Very cute color, like a burgundy, purpley color. So this is another fruity scent. We have dark plum, wild black currants, embodied, um, emboldened sweet apple for a temptation you won't want to resist. 
So a dark plum, wild black currant, and apple. Here's ooh, that's a pretty color. Oh, oh, here comes Odin. He wants to smell. It's so funny he smells this part. Can I smell it now? Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's oh, what does this remind me of? This reminds me of something. I can't put my my finger on it. Oh, what does this remind me of? Something from like my childhood. Oh, it smells really good. Maybe it's like kind of like a scent my mom had. Because I kind of like remember it like. Oh, he's gonna sneeze. You good? <laughs> I like this one. I didn't think I was gonna like this. I'm, I'm not. I didn't know what to expect for this one, but I really do like this one. Black currant and plum. Yeah. I kind of. It's kind of sweet, actually. It's coming to me. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't remember my mom making many things with plum in it, but maybe I don't know. Oh, that smells good. This is a good end of summer, like August, September scent. Especially with all like everything kind of like in season. Ooh, that's a good one too. Oh my goodness, I love it. All right, so we have six more. All right, we have, I gotta clear all my sinuses. Ooh. So another trick, always smell like the inside of your arm if you're smelling a lot of scents or coffee beans. But I always forget the coffee beans. So our next scent is Falling Apple, and this is a wood scent, which I was really surprised about. I thought this was gonna be more of like your typical like apple-y, fruity um, scent. But we have um, Falling Apples. Take a stroll through an orchard lined with crisp apple, acorn, and oak. So this is interesting. Like I said, it's a wood scent. So you wanna smell it in? Oh, well that's different. Not like in a bad way. Ooh. Honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I think my husband's gonna like it. He really likes the, the woodsy scents. Um, he loves apples. I don't know how I like this one. I'm not sure. I think I would have to warm this up. This might be too like woodsy for me. But you definitely get a slight hint of apple. Um, we got apple, acorn, and oak. I get the oakiness. I don't know. Probably not one of my favorites. But it still smells good. This might be, like I said, more like my husband's office. I could see him liking this in here. But yeah, probably not my favorite. This would probably, yeah, I wouldn't like sniff. Really, he's like, he didn't like it, I don't think. Um, yeah, probably on the bottom, bottom 10 for this one. Um, yeah, not, not my favorite. And I was actually kind of looking forward to that one, so. All right, you guys, we are halfway through. And we have Frosted Vanilla. Oh, there we go. So a pretty orange, or pretty orange, pretty blue, like sky blue. And we have a fresh scent. So this is gonna be a wonderful, a wonderland, a sweet vanilla. Okay, let's try that again. A Wonderland, I cannot read. A Wonderland of sweet vanilla and birch bark with a rush of frosty air. And this is a fresh scent. So we have the birch bark, sweet vanilla, and frosty air. So look how gorgeous that blue is. I love it. So I have a feeling this, just going off of the scent description, this is gonna be a good after Christmas and like January scent. Odin's looking at me like he wants to smell this. Ooh. Oh my goodness, what does this remind me? It reminds me of a, a scent of the month we had in January. Oh my goodness, that smells good. Oh, I kinda get like a smoky, like. Ooh, this is different. I think Odin wants to smell. What? Oh, I got, it got, he licked his nose. I think that means he likes it. Oh, this is good, oh. I kind of want to warm this up in our bedroom. So, 
It's not like your typical vanilla scent. Can can you move so I can talk to everybody? Hi. You want to come over here so they can see you? Come here. Oh, he's going to want to sit in my lap. Good boy. Nobody wants to see your butt. <laughs> um, it's not very vanilla -y. I definitely get more of the, like, like the birch. Like the, I get more of a woodsy scent, not a fresh scent. Mmm. Oh, I kind of really like this one. This would be, like I said, a good, like, bathroom scent or a good, um, like, if you have a fireplace, this would be good here. Um, like, if you have one more on the mantle or, like I said, the bedroom. And I get, like, when I just open the clamshell, like, I smell the vanilla, but when you take it out, I get more of the, like, smoky, like, birch scent. Ooh, I like that. You like that, Odin? Yeah? Mm, that might be top three. That might be top three. All right, we have Cran Apple Crumble. I'm so excited for this one. So this is a bakery scent. We have baked Cran Apple topped with brown sugar and a dollop of whooped cream. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh, it's a pink color. So that, to me, looks more like It'll be more of a red color, but it's like a pinky color. Kind of matches my shirt. Actually, it like totally matches my shirt. You wanna smell? <gasps> Ooh, I can smell it. Mmm. Oh, yes. That is so good. Ooh. Oh my goodness. So this, oh. Oh my goodness. If you love bakery scents, you're gonna love this one. Mmm. So you get kind of like a berry, yeah, like a, it's a cream, like a cran apple berry. So I get more of like a cranberry scent, but you get that like crumbly, mmm, mm, my goodness, that smells delicious. Yes, very, very bakery. So if you're not a bakery fan, I don't think you're going to, if you're not a bakery fan, um, I don't think this will be up your alley. Um, it is a little fruity. Um, but if you don't like that sweetness that smells like cookies and like you're actually baking something, this might not be for you. But if you love that, like that sugary, um, like you just baked an apple pie or baked a, um, a berry pie. Oh my goodness. This is so good. This kind of reminds me of like a cobbler almost. Mmm. Yeah. I like that one. Very impressed. All right. We have three more, you guys. We have a blackberry spice, it's another burgundy, and it, it is like a burgundy purpley color. So we have blackberry spice, ripe blackberry bundled up with cedarwood and fresh clove, and this is a spice scent. So I think this is the only new spice ones, and I really love the spice scents. Um, those are like my favorite fall ones. Oh. Whew. Oh my goodness. This reminds me of my mom's house at Christmas. Like when you're first walking in. Oh my goodness. I love this. Mm. Oh. oh my goodness. So my sister and I were just talking about like we were, we were shopping for Halloween decorations and like we were kind of walking around and we were talking about like how when we would unpack all the Halloween decorations um, or even like Christmas decorations it just had that certain smell to it and this is what it smells like it's like warm and welcoming and like it, when you would first like walk in the, at Christmas time and my parents house like if I wasn't living there it like this reminds me of it oh my goodness oh, I love this scent oh my goodness I think this is my favorite yeah I think this is my favorite I think I'm, I'm calling this number one blackberry spice Mm, just instantly brings me back to like my childhood. Oh, I love it. Mm -mm -mm. I cannot wait to warm this up. This is going to be a good one. Yep. Oh, top one or two. We have two more left, you guys. So I have like my top three and I have one or two. So second to the last one is Velvet Moon. I'm kind of excited to smell this one. It's like a silvery color. Oh, it didn't smell the last one. I just realized that. 
Um, this is a floral scent, actually. So we have soft vanilla flower, white musk glowing behind a silky layer of foggy mist. Hmm. I wonder if it's gonna be like watery. All right, I gotta freshen up my nose. Okay. Like I said, it's this like gorgeous, like grayish color. Ooh, that's different. Okay, not your typical floral scent. I know we don't have a lot of floral scents at this time of the year um, for the fall and winter. But that's different. I kind of like it. It's very soft. It's not in your face. Um, it's very different. Like, I feel like all these are kind of different scents than, like, your typical fall scent. I could see that being nice and light. So if you don't like, like, in-your-face scents, um, I think this would be a great one for, for you. Um... Floral scents typically give me a headache, like my lilacs and violets. I love my lilacs and violets, but I have to warm it when I have the windows open because it just like always gives me a headache, even though I love the smell of it. I don't think I would have a problem with this one, even though it's a floral scent. So we got vanilla flower, white musk. I definitely get the white musk. And foggy mint. And the mint's not very strong in this. Can I smell? I don't think it likes this one. Yeah, that's really different. I kind of like it though. Very, very good. And then our last one, it's this gorgeous orange. But it's already smelling it. <laughs> He's smelling the camera. Um, this is a citrus scent, actually. So sips of cider. Uh, lively blood orange seeped with sparkling ginger and cinnamon stick. So this like to me seems like your typical like folly, folly, fallish scent. Oh yeah. Ooh, you get the cinnamon and the orange. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that is pretty good. This is um kind of light. Ooh yeah, you definitely get the citrus when I like took it out of the clamshell. Oh, do you want to smell? He just literally sat down. I'm like, you want to smell? Interesting. I got, oh, this would be a good like Thanksgiving -y scent. Like when you're like, if you're, um, this kind of reminds me of when you're uh, making your own like uh, potpourri, when you have like the cinnamon sticks and the water and the oranges and the apples. This kind of reminds me of this. Ooh. Cause you get the citrusy, you get the cinnamon, you get the spice a little bit. Mmm. I wonder if there's like something else in here. I want to say like, I don't really smell the ginger, but like, like the star fruit. Like I, I don't, I don't even know if that's what it is, but oh, that smells good as I throw the wax on the floor. Mmm. I like that one. It's different. You want to smell? Odin's looking at me like he wants to smell this. You want to smell? Or are you gonna stay there? There he is. You like it? I think he likes this one. He licked his nose. Alright, so if I had to rank these, well, this is hard because they're so different. These are not your typical, like, scents. A lot of these are kind of in. They're tied. There's a lot of ties. Number 10 is the Fallen Apples. I personally just was not a fan of this one. I think this is just a little too out there for me, honestly. But um, you might like it. Um, it's different. Very, very different. So number 9 was Velvet Moon. This was the fresh... Um, I'm sorry. This is the, the floral scent. I like it. Like I said, a lot of like the next like five of these are kind of like just... They're ties. They're, I don't like them. I don't dislike them. Um, that's not what I meant. It's, I like them, but I'm not like in love with them. But I would definitely warm them. Velvet Moon, number nine. And then we had Frosted Vanilla, um, which is the fresh scent. And that's just, it's just a little out there for me. But I would want to warm this one in my bedroom. Um, then I had the White Amber and Silk. Is number six, I think. Yeah, it's a nice, soft, you know, scent. So that was number 
six. So I have a clear number one and two. Number three, I have a tie, so that's three and four. And then five and six are tied as well. And I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think these would be really good warmed up together. So I had perfect day as number five. And then, I'm no, I had perfect day as number six. And then sips of cider as number five. But honestly, I think these would be both really good together. Like if you warm these up together. So sips of cider and then perfect day. So then um, four was, so four and three are kind of the, you know, tied as well. Um, number four was Huckleberry Hideaway, which I still think is really good. It's just very Christmassy and not like, like cinnamon Christmassy. This is just a nice Christmassy scent. And then number three was um, black currant and plum. And then number two was the blackberry spice. Mm, it just reminds me of home. And then number one was the crayon apple crumble, which is just a really weird because I'm not a big bakery person. So what, honestly, I would probably have this by the front door, the blackberry um, spice, and then I would have this going on in the kitchen. So I'd have these two warmed up together. That just smells so good. Like I want to put this in the kitchen right now because I'm like ready for fall. And then the blackberry spice, like I said, just just reminds me of mom's home, my mom's home, oh, not my mom, my parents' home. Hmm. That's what my childhood smelled like. That's the new lineup, fall winter 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, share with your friends and family. And don't forget to comment below if you would love my husband's first sniffs impressions um, on the next snip and smell I have. Have a great day guys and I will catch you guys later. Bye!